Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm back out at the Pawnee Buttes. Um, I uh, got here a little late. Um, you know, of course I had the, I had work today and you know, I couldn't really leave home until I think somewhere around like 5.30. Um, you know, so I, I basically drove out here during the sunset and uh, you know, so no cool intro shots like, you know, like before. But uh, you know, I'm here and I've got everything set up. I'm just about ready to polar align, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. Go ahead and bump this up a little bit. I had to find a good spot to put my light and uh, the camera without blocking my uh, pole master here. Which is basically, if you're unfamiliar, a small camera that will point at the North Celestial Pole. And then if I tell it, or if I tell the software exactly what the rotation of my mount looks like, it'll be able to figure out what the central axis of rotation is. And uh, I'll be able to polar align that way. And it usually takes only like five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And that is pretty good, very good. Cool, so now I'm polar aligned and it was that easy. From the looks of things, it only took a few minutes. So let's go ahead and keep on trucking. And the nice thing about Pole Master is that you can leave it plugged in the entire time you're imaging and uh, you can monitor your polar alignment throughout the night you know, just in case the ground settled a little bit, maybe your mount's on some softer soil and it kind of settled over a little bit of time. Now you're not necessarily right on the pole. So that's obviously not good. And, uh, but for now, we're still looking good. You know, this soil is nothing but, um, you know, really compacted, kind of like clay-y sort of material, really powdery and a lot of rock too. So it's kind of just, you know, really stable. I've just gone ahead and finished polar lining, and now I'm connecting all my equipment. Do you hear this wind? Do you hear this? All right, I've got my mount connected. I'm gonna tell it to unpark itself, start tracking. For some reason, my moonlight focuser just doesn't really like to connect to my computer. I kind of have, have to like rapid fire, click the button, and eventually it worked. So let's give that a single shot. Air connecting. Okay. I figured out what was wrong with my uh, connection to the moonlight. There's a tiny pebble stuck inside of this uh, USB port. It's probably because, you know, there's so many little tiny pebbles all over the place. So let's go ahead and try and get that out. My hands are freezing. You know when things are just kind of like, or your hands are kind of just slow motion because they're cold? Well, that's me right now. Get on out of here, Rock. Probably won't even really be able to see this thing, but if you ever wonder what the tiny, tiny Allen keys are, hex key or whatever you want to call it, uh, if you ever want to know what that's for, it's for getting tiny pebbles. <laughs> air connecting. I don't care. And now it works. So basically you just have to convince it that it uh, is indeed something that can connect to the computer and you know eventually it'll decide to uh, play along. <laughs> so isn't that just wonderful. Now I've got all my equipment connected and uh, it's time to point at M78. You know, obviously I did the uh, conjunction video back, what was that, like December 21st? Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, yeah, I did that and I changed the rotation of the focuser because I you know, was messing with uh, the field of view of my tiny little webcam thing that I have. So my rotation for my camera right now isn't the same as what it was when I came out here and shot my original M78 uh, you know, video. And uh, I've uploaded a picture of um, 
M78 that I took previously, and hopefully I'll be able to rotate my camera kind of in a way that will resemble uh, you know what I did before. There might be a tiny little deviation from what I did, but you know I'll crop it down a tiny bit. You won't even notice it. I hope that this is really similar. I don't know if it is. So I try to get it as close as I can, but it's, you know, won't be perfect. So success, created one new target. Press OK. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and get myself focused um, and basically ready to start shooting. And at that point, I will return. OK, so let's center on M78. Looks like it's going the right way. <laughs> so right now I'm plate solving. Basically it's searching uh, star charts for a picture it just took. Um, you know, it kind of looks at the stars in the image and then it just starts to, uh, you know, kind of do a spiral out from where it thinks it is until it finds uh, the actual image that I just took. Plate match found. Very good. Cool, so it, uh, it's centered on M78, so that's good. And let's see what the... Awesome. Cool, so we're, uh, we're all set here. So it's currently 9 o'clock. I uh, probably only have another like two to three hours max of uh, Orion being up. So it's a little unfortunate, but I'm going to have to do what I can. And uh, once that's down, I'm going to start working on M106. So it does look like my rotation is off, so I'm going to have to give it a little rotation and see how well it matches up. Let's try a 30 second exposure. All right, so the rotations might not be perfectly synced, but uh, I'm gonna crop it down a little bit and I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so I've got the AO uh, calibrating right now, so I'm gonna get my, um, basically my auto guiding set up any second here. All right, and we are guiding. Right now we're guiding at 0.58. RMS, so that's uh, that's not bad. You know, of course, it's going to kind of figure itself out a little bit at first, but you know, we'll see where it ends up. As long as this stays below 0.83, I'm golden. You know, with the wind, I might have to throw away a couple subs, but this AO unit has really been able to save me a lot of grief in terms of uh, you know having to throw away subs. I used to kind of have you know, a lot of issues with the wind just kind of blowing everything around and it was a real pain because, you know, I couldn't really get my, you know, I wasn't getting my time's worth out here and with how little I'm actually able to get out here sometimes, you know, every minute counts in terms of, you know, when I'm actually collecting photons. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, actually taking down some exposures of this uh, M78. Okay, that's that. Okay, so I just switched from shooting M78. It uh, dropped too far down on the horizon, so I had to stop. I'm doing M106 now. And, um, uh, it's a target that I kind of started a number of months ago and uh, never really got the chance to finish it. I really wanted to get more hydrogen, uh, more H alpha on it, and uh, I only got like, I think maybe like less than an hour last time so I'm gonna try and get some more luminance while the moon is still down and you know maybe get an hour or two and then switch to hydrogen once the moon comes up and uh, you know we'll see we'll see what, how it goes um, but I'd like to ideally get at least a few hours.
Well, it seems like our friend's back. And by friend, I mean our, uh, our nemesis. Yep. Now I gotta go grab my camera. You know, I don't really get to come out here as often as I'd like. Um, you know, it's been a while since my last video. Uh, you know, it's, it, you know, life just kind of has a way of taking the driver's seat, of course. Um, so, you know, of course this, you know, my hobby and YouTube and all that had to take a back seat for a little bit. You know, I started a new job back in January. So, you know, I kind of haven't really had the time or the energy or the motivation, yada, yada, you know, to get out here. Uh, but I'm happy that I was able to get out here tonight. Um, I'm hoping that you all enjoyed watching this video and, uh, yeah, I don't ask for anything. I just hope that you enjoy. And uh, here's my uh, here's the images I got tonight.